Right guys, I decided to do a push-pull leg split. Why? Because I can train push-pull legs twice a week. That means I hit everything twice, all my muscles twice a week. It's gonna allow me to lift more, it's gonna allow me to grow faster, it's gonna allow me to recover quicker because protein synthesis stops for natural athletes after 48 hours. So ideally you wanna be hitting everything every 48 hours. Uh, I would quote some studies, but I don't have any. If I find studies, I'll put them in the description box and you can see uh, for yourself. So we started off with a uh, bench press. I haven't done bench press in a long time. I wanted to do five by five. I do five by five deadlifts, five by five squats. So I wanted to kind of do, keep that kind of routine. Uh, keep the 5x5 five five with the bench press, really try to build some strength in my chest because I've lost quite a lot. I uh, lost 25 kilos off my one rep max, which is kind of frustrating. So yeah, I just stick with 100 for, I think it was two sets. Um, as you can see here, elbows come nice and close into your body, really slowed down, retracted um, scapulas. I like to put my toes really high because it gives me quite a lot of stability because you do push through your feet, guys. So if, you're not put, if your feet are kind of moving all around when you're bench pressing, you're losing power. So you want to have your feet pretty much where mine are, kind of backwards, and they'll lock you in, arch your back, chest up, elbows in, nice and slow and eccentric, fast and concentric. I uh, went up to 105 kg for the last two sets, so I'll probably start on 105 kg next set, uh, next um, next push workout, um, and then move into 110 if I can do it, if I can do it. Um, like you can see here, get a spotter if you need a spotter, just in case. I'm not sure. He was also correcting me, as you can see there. He's correcting my shoulders, which is great, guys. So if you've got someone else, always look, always get them to look at your form subjectively, because you know you might think your form's perfect. Like I think my, I feel my form's really good, but you know he was there. He's like, no, you're, you're coming up this high, you're coming up this high. And I look back at the videos because we did some videos on the top. They didn't come out too well, but you could see the um, the imbalance, and he was right, so it's good. I moved into OHP, um, standing military press, overhead press, whatever you want to call it. Um, just 65 kilos. Uh, I did four sets of eight on this. Um, this, you know, I love this exercise. This is just about pure strength, pushing upwards, extending up, locking out. Uh, all shoulder work, so we went chest, shoulders. Um, keys to this, pretty much same as a bench press. You want to keep your elbows in, uh, shoulders back, etc., etc. Pretty easy. Uh, we'll move on to incline press. Um, did 30. Five kilos, then moved up to 37s, and then I moved up to 40s. Um, I've done 50s before, so I've lost a lot of strength there as well. Uh, but really trying to fill out the upper part of my chest, um, kind of my my lateral delts. I think it's my lateral delts or medial delts. Medial delts. Don't quote me. <laughs> Please correct me when I'm wrong. Into just tricep push downs um, on this little. I don't even know what you want to call that handle, but uh, again. Nice and slow, the eccentric. Really squeeze out on the uh, on the concentric. Just trying to really build like dense muscle. Now I'm trying to bring out some uh, striations in my triceps. So the um, the more you squeeze, the more activation you can get from all the fibers, etc. Et uh, we moved into lateral raises. As you can see here, I, I'm bringing my arms out kind of in front of me a bit, and I've got the up Bradley Martin. If you guys haven't seen him, check out Bradley Martin on YouTube. Loads and loads of good tips. Loads of different techniques, loads of different exercises that you guys can use. I get loads of them off him. And so yeah, he, he does the same, uh, you know, pouring out jug technique as you come out of this, but it's kind of more in front of you. And I found it really took a lot of pressure off my rotator cuff. And I normally get quite a lot of pain when I'm doing lateral raises. So I'm definitely going to be doing these from now on. See how I respond, because my delts are on fire the next day after this, after this, after this workout yesterday evening. So yeah, out in front of you, um, but still maintaining that kind of strict form. Um, don't want to be swinging back, don't want to be rocking your back, don't want to be using your traps too much. Um, really just pulling with that kind of, that delt right there. Um, no swinging, nothing like that, because you're just going to lose the movement. Did 22.5 kg on these lateral raises. Uh, we'll be working out to 25 next week. Key guys, you've got to progress. You've got to progress. You've got to keep adding weight, you've got to keep adding sets, you've got to keep adding reps. If you can't add the weight, add the set. If you can't add the set, add the rep. Um, any progression is better than no progression. Really got to fight to kind of lift heavier weights, lift with better form, just lift better, more progressive, and you really, really have to concentrate on that. I can't emphasize that enough. You know, you can't go in there and do four sets of 10 on bench press every single bench press session, every single chest session, because it's not going to work. You're not going to respond well. You're not going to, your body will get used to it so quickly. After two, three weeks, your body's going to get used to this, you know, so I like to change my workouts up every two to three weeks. 
maybe three to four weeks, depending on how these programs go. But I will keep one or two staples in there. So I'll keep my bench press in there, my, my, my squat in there, and my deadlift in my push-pull legs. Uh, this just allows me to monitor strength. So I, I know if I do bench first, five by five, and I do 1-5 next week, 105 next week, uh, then I will do 110 next week, or I'll try my hardest, or I'll do six sets of six on 105, or I'll do, you know, um, seven sets of five, something like that. Just to really kind of overload the muscle, do more than you did on it last week. Um, and that's the kind of principles I'm going to take. So a few, a few staples in the workouts, um, like the like the cable cut, the cable flies, like the bench presses, and then the rest of them I'm going to mix in, mix out, so my body doesn't get used to it. Um, we moved into cable decline flies, as you guys just saw, um, and then into front front raises. Uh, I switched these front raises up to um, to kind of this way. I don't know how you really explain that, but it kind of, and I leant back a bit and I put a lot of focus on my upper chest. So it's front delts and upper chest. So it's kind of two, two, two movements in one. And it's a great movement. Um, it's the exercise up and put the focus on somewhere different. So it's an example of how you can do the same exercise with a different technique and, and you completely hit a different muscle. So guys, never be restricted with your exercises. Uh, last exercise. Uh, was just straight incline flies, really stretch. I always follow Arnold's rules and I try to expand my chest. I breathe in as I come down, so I really stretch out. And I kind of pin my shoulders back as hard as I can without kind of breaking my rotator cuffs and putting a lot of pressure in there. As much as I can handle without kind of knowing I'm gonna injure myself. I guess you have to find that yourself, but I've been lifting for a while now, so I know where that, that threshold is for me. Uh, hug the tree, always hug the tree, don't come in like this, you need to come out and around and you really squeeze at the top. That's it for the voiceover, see you in the next one. What's up everybody? Ooh, we just killed a push workout. I just killed a push workout. Took the camera with me, did some bench, some overhead press, some raises, triceps, all sorts. Uh, I will do a voiceover. Um, of the workout, make you guys understand it a bit easier why I do this, why I'm doing that. Decide for a push pull leg workout for the next few weeks. Try hit everything. Can't even hold this camera up. I need to put it. No. Uh, try hit everything more than once a week. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've got to go shout, get ready for work. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. More will come, more will come. Um, Thanks for the support. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe, that shit. ASAP.